Today let's talk about cleaning up our apartments and why is it important to clean up our apartments and what happens if we don't clean up our apartments. As the history books have it and as Dr. Jordan Peterson has it, one must clean his room before he ventures beyond into the field of chaos to tackle dragons, to tackle life's challenges and to tackle everything there is to tackle. But today, I don't exactly want to talk about a very simplistic notion of sort of like cleaning up your room as a baseline for you to handle life's challenges out there. But today I want to relate this idea of cleaning up your apartment to the general idea of consuming art or consuming higher culture or consuming things that are, you know, on the surface, they look kind of useless, but they're actually not that useless. So when I was 17, wandering through campus with a book under my arm or with a book that I was reading at the time, a lot of people tend to hit me with the question of why are you reading that book? Why are you reading a classical novel? Or why are you investigating into the subject? Or why exactly are you spending so much time on things that look kind of useless. What's art going to do for your career? You know, what's a book of poems going to do for your overarching grand goal of becoming a doctor? Or what's that little flimsy book on metaphysics going to do for you if you want to study to be an engineer? It certainly seems like the case that society right now is caught in the bind of practicality where things don't exactly take on the inherent value that they possess, but they take on a numerical value of how much tax you're gonna pay for the year, how much yearly income did you acquire, or how much value you're providing to society. That practicality is like living, for me at least, that practicality in a sense, it's like living in a dirty apartment where you don't have to clean anything up because trust me, if you're 20 something living out here alone, it's very, very easy to live somewhere that is a mess, but as long as you know where everything is, you're fine. You can live somewhere as a filthy human being and you will be completely fine. What is rare is to find an apartment that's in a sense decorated, taken care of, clean, and very much coordinated with the livers or with the person's identity, with the person's expression of himself and with the person's inherent values. Because oftentimes we view where we live as simply a temporary squatting place for sleeping, for eating, and for taking a shower, for grooming yourself, without realizing that there's this extra dimension of enjoyment that we can get from curating the place, from taking care of the place. Oh, hello. Sorry for the sudden interruption, but as people who are very interested in the arts, very interested in poetry, novels, and everything in between, one thing, there's one thing that I think it's practically impossible for us, you know, including myself. This thing is so impossible for me that I've spent a better part of my early adulthood trying to battle this thing into the ground. And that thing is insomnia. That thing is battling with an overactive brain. So currently my sleeping schedule is a little, a little screwed up for lack of a better term. Because according to some of these nerdy researchers, which are just technically people that are speaking common sense, just using more complicated language, uh, it is harder for people who have a lot of thoughts to fall asleep. So sometimes it's easier for us to fixate on something to help us get to sleep. And it's useful for us to get a sense of how much we're sleeping or get a sense of how long we've been asleep throughout the night to give us a better idea of how to go about improving our sleep quality. And this is where I have to tell you a little bit about today's video sponsor, ShutEye. So imagine an all-in-one package where this app basically, one, tracks your sleep, which is very important, and also it plays white noise to help you get to sleep, and they even went as far as to record everything from snoring noises to your uh, sleep talk. So if you're thinking about some grand theory of the universe, if you're thinking about some grand philosophical problem in your sleep, chances are this app might actually capture a lot of that when you're asleep. So try out all of these features. They are actually pretty cool. And over time, as the app learns more about your sleeping habits, your sleeping routines, and your tendencies to talk about philosophy when you're, when you're asleep, it is gonna give you insights and it's gonna set up the smart alarm system to help you wait wake up refreshed and wake up very much ready to tackle the day, ready to read some more novels, ready to indulge in some more poetry, and ready to write a novel or paint your own painting or do whatever you want in the artistic sphere. So I was pretty happy to have teamed up with a sponsor to one, improve the sleep quality of you uh, incredible people out there, and two, keep this project going to share more insights on things that I truly care about, like art, like philosophy, like music, like appreciating the higher sphere, appreciating the sphere that you 
can only get to by cleaning your apartment. And as a lucky viewer of this channel, you can check out the app and I'll link that in the description down below. Be sure to check them out and thank you Shuthai for sponsoring this video. To me, cleaning up your apartment is like consuming art in a more, should I say, in a more everyday kind of sense. Because you can get by with the necessities of having a stable job. You can get by with the necessities of earning a stable income and then having a satisfying relationship, jumping out there into society as a useful human being. But without art, without music, without literature, we're not even talking about highbrow music here. We're just talking about things that you would rather whack on uh, after work on Spotify. That counts as a form of art. These forms of art, these forms of fiction, uh, paintings that you like, music, musicians that you like, and rappers that you like, they're in a sense cleaning up your mental apartment. You don't need these pieces of great music or literature to survive. All you need is a functional, functional place. All you need is a functional life. But music and these more metaphysical things tend to inspire us. They tend to add an extra layer to our lives and they tend to bring out uh, the better part of us. When I first moved into this apartment, although it was a really nice apartment, although there was a bed and you know everything was functional, but I was just unhappy with how the room was laid out. So I thought to myself, I have to curate this place according to my personality, according to my personal quirks, and according to all of my little personal habits. And about two months went by, I bought a lot of art, and I bought a lot of um, lighting, and I bought a lot of um, bits and pieces that really fine-tuned this apartment as something that's, that's my own. And my dad used to joke, you spend so much money on art that you, you're running out of money to eat. But for me, that extra dimension of cleaning up my, my apartment, that extra dimension of integrating more, should I say, artistic aspects into my life, for me, that's something critically important. And I don't think I can really live without it. I don't think I can really live without literature, music, and the pursuit of writing, and the pursuit of good stories, good movies, because they are what fundamentally makes us human. They are what makes us fundamentally alive and amazing and vibrant. So those are my two cents on how to clean up your apartment and how to consume art in a right way. And here are some of my personal thoughts on a subject. And in the future, I look forward to making more of these videos on this line in this format of a mini short film uh, combined with my own rambles to really share what's on my mind, to really share everything that's happening in here. But for now, RC Wanden here. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.